Hi students, coming to the next topic in microprocessor unit is programmable interrupt controller. So the pin number of a programmable interrupt controller is 8259. So in the previous video I explained about 8251. 8251 is nothing but USART, Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. Whereas 8259 is PIC. 59 means programmable interrupt controller. 51 means USART. Okay, don't be confused. And this 8259 PIC is a 28 pin dip, dual in package. So one side is having 14 pins, another is 14 pins. So the first pin is connected to the chip selection, read, write and 8 data um, bits that are connected to this pins. And 3 cascading lines will be there, CS0, CS1 and CS2, ground pin, SP by EN pin, interrupt pin and total 8 interrupt requests are there interrupt IR0 to IR7 which are given by the external devices the request is given by the external devices and those requests will be sent to the processor so according to the priority based on the priority the processor will uh, take the request of the interrupt request and perform the operations and again sends the interrupt acknowledgement to the 8259 A0 and VCC Actually, this 8259, it, it handles 8 interrupt in, inputs, I already said. So, these are the 8 interrupt inputs. Uh, this is equivalent to providing 8 interrupt pins uh, on the processor is placed in one of INTR pin. So, actually, INTR pin is there in 8086 microprocessor, INTR pin. So, these 8 interrupt pins are connected to the single INTR pin. So, based on the priority of the request, that interrupt will be sent to this INTR pin through microprocessor. And microprocessor will send, uh, after the completion of it, sends the interrupt acknowledgement signal to this 8259. So, that is the process. Now, let us see. Uh, D0 to D7. I said these wires are connected to the system bus. The system bus which consists of data bus, control bus and address bus. So these wires are connected to system bus and are used by the microprocessor to read or write the internal registers of 8259. So whatever the internal registers that are present in 8259, so this processor will read or write the internal registers of 8259. Now next coming to A0. A0 this pin it acts in conjunction with the read or write signals. Means when to read the data and when to write the data. Everything will be conjunction with this A0. And where is read and write? So we know that write, uh, when this write signal is asserted, this 8259 accepts the command on data lines and sent by microprocessor. So whatever the data that is sent by the microprocessor, will be write, writing to 8259 and reading means microprocessor reads the status microprocessor reads the microprocessor reads the status of 8259 by asserting this signal and reading the data lines so these are the pins and the remain next is int now coming to the int pin so what is the use of int pin this signal is asserted this interrupt signal is asserted Whenever a valid interrupt request is received by 8251, that is, it is used to interrupt the microprocessor. So, the main, this INT is used to interrupt microprocessor. Means, it is saying to the microprocessor that some external devices are requesting to operate an important data. So, then the processor will halt that whatever the operation it is performing, whatever the program it is executing, it keep it as a hold and it takes the interrupt request and perform the operation. Again, it sends the result and continue with the previous work. That is a microprocessor will do. So, this interrupt is used to, uh, INT pin is used to interrupt the microprocessor and this is having one more feature like it checks whether it receives the valid interrupt or not. So, before sending to the microprocessor, this INT pin is checking whether uh, an, um, the interrupt that is issuing to the microprocessor is valid or not. And an INT bar. It is a pulse issued by microprocessor to enable 8259 interrupt vector data onto the database. Means, this, is, uh, this INT bar is sent by the microprocessor. The microprocessor after completion of the work, it just acknowledges to the 8259 
to uh, put the data onto the data bus okay my work is over so just put uh, uh, another data onto the data bus so the processor is asking 8 to 5 9 in the form of acknowledgement and IR not to IR 7 this or an interrupt request is executed by peripheral devices so these requests are given by the peripheral devices peripheral devices when one of these signal is asserted and coming to the cascading cs0 cs1 cs2 so these are the cascading signals to enable multiple 8 to 5 9 chips to be chained together so whenever the multiple 8 to 5 9 chips are there to be chained together these pins will be enabled and sp by en this function is used in congestion with the cs signals for cascading purpose so whenever they, these are used in cascading purpose then this pin will be uh, helpful in conjecturing all these cascading signals so this is about the pin diagram of 8259 programmable interrupt controller thank you